good morning everyone so today we are going to see about how to create multiple stages in control charts using mini tab in the recent times i have posted a video on how to select different types of control charts and how to implement the action plans using the control charts and in response to that particular video i have received a query asking that how to include stages for the data so that we can easily distinguish the data and that you can easily understand what are the improvements that are being done and this particular video is going to be in response to that query so to make you understand better i have collected certain data and let's say an engineer has taken a six sigma project and after taking the six sigma project so he has gone through the dmac approach and after implementing the action plans which are derived from this dmac approach so he have collected the data before as well as after implementing the action plans so since 2010 to 2017 they have executed certain batches and the yield ranges were obtained like this and this data represents before implementing the action plans and the data from batch number 25 onwards represents the yields of the batches which are executed with or after implementation of the action plans so with this data we need to check how to plot a control chart and how to include the stages so before doing that first of all we need to take all the data in single column so for that first of all i'll copy from batch number 20 sorry 1 to 24 this is before implementation and this is going to be after implementation i'll take in a single column and I'll just copy this and I'll take it to the mini tab worksheet. So I have placed it here. So this is going to be the worksheet and the above you'll be getting a sessions window where you'll be identifying the output. So for plotting this control chart, first of all, we should understand what type of control chart we have to select. So here the data that I have collected is a continuous data. Why? Because I am able to measure the data and this data is having certain units. And also there is only one subgroup that means I have collected only one data point from one batch so since the data is continuous and also the subgroup size is one I'll be selecting IMR chart and for plotting this IMR chart get into stat and then into control charts and then into this variable chart for individuals and then this IMR so just double click on this so you'll be getting this yield first of all let's see about the conventional way of plotting the control chart so just click on OK see now so this is how the conventional way of control chart is going to look like so this particular chart is going to have about the yields and this moving range involves the data like how the data points are moving from one batch to one batch so what is the variation so if you are going to have total 48 batches data over here in this individual chart you will be having 47 data points in this moving range chart so the primary focus is going to be about the individual chart. So if you are able to see here, you got multiple out layers at data point 21 and here two out layers are there. And also if you are able to see the average line is 600.246. So this average is going to be representing the combination of before implementation as well as after implementation. So in this conventional way of plotting, we cannot differentiate. Like what are the batches before implementation and after implementation? but you can have some type of a preliminary assessment like based on your view you can say why because so after implementation all the data points like most of the data points were uh, plotted above the average line and the remaining batches the initial batches were plotted below the average line and to have a better view what we can do is we can include certain stages stages in the sense so you can segregate the data points before as well as after implementation so till now you have seen the conventional way and just click on this okay now let's include certain stages so that you can have some better view so click on this stat and then into control charts and then this variable chart for individuals the IMR chart so already the ELD selected as a variable and then get into this IMR options and getting into this IMR options you can find parameters estimate limits test stages box cox display and storage in that select stages 
so here you want to define the stages depending upon the batch number so i'll be clicking batch number here and here if you are able to see with each new value like for each number you will be getting a new stage so it's not recommended why because here you have only two groups one is before implementation and the next one is after implementation so i'll be selecting this and now let's go into this data so if you are able to see before implementation we got total 24 number of batches and after implementation again we got 24 and the middle point is 25 okay like the initial point for the data which is after implementation is batch number 25 so i'll get into mini tab and here in the first occurrence of these values that means we need to mention the first data point after implementing the changes so i'll mention 25 and now click on ok and now just click on ok now see so you got the stages so this is the primary stage where you haven't taken any action plans and this is the data after having certain improvements so this is starting is one and here you got the starting data point is number 25 and also if you are able to see the average has changed so just put your cursor on this average that is the green line it is going to show you the center line it is the average was used to be almost 599.47 kg whereas after implementation the yield has improved and the average line is 601.021 and also if you are able to see these control limits the control limit like the upper control limit is 600.858 and the lower control limit is 598.083 and after implementation so if you are able to see the lower control limit is equals to like almost it's equal to the mean line before implementation that means we can say it's a great achievement what the engineer has done is okay so this is how you can include the number of stages and here i have shown you only for two stages but if you want to have multiple stages so what you can do is so simply get into this control charts individuals imr and this imr options and in this stages along with this 25 give one space and then include the next batch number so let's say the next batch number is 35 so i mentioned here now let's see so mini tab will try to view total three number of stages so previously i used to have only two stages one is going to start at one and the second is going to start at 25 and to have multiple things i have given the third stage which is going to start with batch number 35 so this is the third stage so like this is how we need to plot the control charts so that easily you can distinguish and you can present the data so that the one who is going to take the presentation can understand easily about the improvements that you have done in the project so thanks for watching the video and if you have any questions in this particular video you can write us at pharma calci 823 at gmail.com and if you like our video please subscribe to our channel and also please share it with your dear ones thanks for watching the video